This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Vanessa Villafuerte with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. Congressman Jeff Fortenberry's federal trial is set to begin on Wednesday with jury selection. The trial comes just as Fortenberry is running for re-election. A campaign spokesman tells the Nebraska Examiner that it's not certain that the 61-year-old congressman will testify in his own defense. His trial could last through March 22nd. Fortenberry is accused of lying to federal investigators as they were looking into an illegal donation to his campaign from a foreign national. The nine-term Republican has pleaded not guilty to charges, alleging that he intentionally misled investigators about his knowledge of the campaign donation. Sick of switching your clocks every six months? Well, you may be in luck as Nebraska is one step closer to joining a list of states choosing to be in permanent daylight savings time. That would give us more sunlight in the evening hours in the winter and less light in the winter mornings. It would go into effect after two triggers. Congress allows states to do this and three border states also pass the same law. Wyoming has already passed a similar bill and the Iowa, Iowa House passed one last week. The bill had broad approval with only three senators voting against the bill. And I'm 3 News Now weather alert meteorologist Audra Moore with this weather update. The cold front continues to drop farther down to the south through this evening. Behind it, well, temperatures will be dropping too, of course, once the sun sets. And we've got north winds that are going to pick up a little bit too. In fact, we could see some gusts throughout the evening and early tonight, up to about 25 miles per hour as that cooler air continues to make its way into parts of eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. As we go into tonight, though, those winds will back off pretty quickly, and that will allow for the potential for some patchy fog, mainly through parts of western Iowa into very early Tuesday morning as temperatures fall back down into the mid and upper 20s for most of us. Lots of sunshine in store, though, for the rest of Tuesday. That's going to help us warm back up into the low 50s already by 1 o'clock in the afternoon as we head into the 60s by the time we get to Tuesday afternoon. But tonight here in Omaha, we do drop back down to 28 degrees. Breezy early again behind that cold front. North winds gusting up to about 25 miles per hour. As those winds finally back off into the early morning hours of Tuesday, that's when we could start to see some development of some patchy fog. But overall, temperatures are going to start to warm back up pretty quickly. We're already into the 60s on Tuesday afternoon. Highs near 70 degrees on Wednesday. That will be a breezy day though. So south winds bring in that warmer air for us. Next system arrives though and Thursday into Friday. It's going to drop our temperatures back down into the mid and upper 50s. Bring a small chance for a few showers on Thursday too. But don't worry, we start to warm back up pretty quickly once again. Already in the mid 60s by Saturday. Sunday for the first official day of spring. Back to near 70 for another chance for some rain returns to the forecast next Monday.